I'm going to make a pot of mashed potatoes. And I'm slicing them in thick slices so that they'll cook up faster. So I'm going to salt these and put them on to boil. I'm going to add some salt and pepper and some granulated garlic. You can add the real garlic if you like. I'm all out, so I'm just going to add granulated garlic. And I'm going to put those on to boil. Okay, these are almost cooked. They don't have to be totally cooked because they're going to continue to cook in the oven. So now I'm going to add some meatless ground, which looks like hamburger like this. So I'm going to add that to my container. You can add cooked hamburger if you're not a vegetarian. Break it up. Now I have mixed some water with two tablespoons of cornstarch. And I'm going to add that to my mixture, stir it out, and let it thicken. And now I'm just going to add soy sauce, just to darken up my gravy. Before assembling, taste your mixture to make sure it's seasoned properly. Okay, so now my potatoes are cooked. I'm going to add some almond milk. I want these to be creamy. Some olive oil, a bit of granulated garlic, and some salt and pepper. Now I'm going to just mash this up. Taste to make sure it's seasoned properly. Pour some of the mixture into your casserole dish. Spoon your potatoes over the top. Okay, I place my shepherd's pie in the oven under the broiler for about 15 minutes, just until the top has browned. And I made two because I can either freeze this one or give it away to somebody. Today I'm going to bring this to my grandsons. But if you double up on your recipes, then you can freeze this. And then one day when you don't feel like cooking, you can just pop that out of the freezer and put it in the oven and have shepherd's pie for supper. Okay, so let's serve some of this up and see how it looks. And there you go. Some lovely shepherd's pie.